Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2, the game that we all like to use at play in when we want to take out other nations and abuse their natives. But anyways, um, we've got a couple comments to go through, but it is June 29th, 1900, and god, this is, this is, I'll be honest, Turkey looks bad. With the British in the Middle East, and the Greeks and the Serbs owning this part of the world, it's just ugly as heck. But Ireland broke free of the UK rule, which is kind of cool. I wonder if we ally them. That'd be kind of cool. Because the UK is still our ally. Hmm. And we have some French patriots. Supposedly patriots here. So, oh, the game's running? Oh, whoopsie. I don't think it... Not bad. Uh, we gotta deal with these re rebellions, which is... Oh, that's a big old stack. No, ain't it? That's a big old stack. But as you can see, the top word war with the Philippines. Which would be very, very nice. Let's see. And actually now, <clears throat> people are kind of leaving us to go to Venezuela. That's big sadness hours. Big sadness. God, I need to play as... I've already played the USA once in HBM. I need to play as a CSA. That sounds like a lot of fun. But maybe we we'll go to China too. But we're down here. But we're down here. Cool. And we're heading on in to Vigan. And actually, I use the Casus Belli to um, completely annex them. That's what I want to do. I'll completely annex the Philippines. Even though our Spanish allies literally own, I'd say, mm, a third of them. A third of the islands. It's fine, whatever. Uh, a couple comments though. Someone wants me to continue taking up the rest of the world as well as just take more territory. We'll try. You know, I'll absolutely will try to. Uh, I don't think I could ever do a world conquest because that would take us until like 2250 maybe. If we were to play like fairly and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know, man. That seems a bit extreme. But we'll at least take out the Philippines. But apparently, we're, we're now the largest military power in the world. Alright. I'll take it. I like it. I like it a lot. And also, someone says, can I show the trade map mode? Uh, so we want to be the... Someone wants to know if we are the global leader in spice trading. And I don't think there is spice trading in uh, Victoria 2. What are we cotton? Unless it's in base game. Are spices in base game? I don't think so. I know it's in EU4, but... We got tropical wood. We got some sulfur. We got some coal. Which is in high demand. Fuel, which is slowly decreasing in price. <clears throat> and I'm joining with my cat, Pinky. But anyways... Uh, rubber's kind of falling off. What we really want are planes. That'd be really cool. It is 1900, though. And we're doing anti-rationalism. Then we'll get the one that gives us more gas attack next. Ooh, opium has really fallen off, hasn't it? But overall, um, there's not really much here. We need a lot. A lot of lumber. Our main inputs, or export of goods are... Wait, no. Lumber. Oh, okay. The factories need a lot of that. And then our three top imported goods are clothes. So we can't even make our own clothes. Beverages and coal, so... Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, no spices here for now, but that's okay. You know, things happen. Alright, let's go there to Legazapi. Something like that? Yeah, sure, something like that. Cool. Very nice. So, in this, every episode from here on out, I think we should at least try... Uh-oh, Spain. Um, to, for us to take out at least one major power every, at least every episode. I think that's a good goal to achieve, just because... Great wars cost so much. And actually, we, we were able to, to go to war with everyone, or with other people like the Philippines, despite us being in a great war. So, uh, who are you guys at war with? Cuban freedom. Um, uh, kind of okay. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Spain. No, no, no. Kind of communist, but sorry, Spain. Um, yeah, I'm not going to mess with America right now. Actually, are the Americans our allies? No, they're not. Hmm. I do want them. Using the UK and pulling them into the war would not be bad. Greenland exists. What the heck? Why? Why do they exist? Oh, they're doing the Boer War down there. Oh. Hmm. I think it might be best. Maybe you should go to war with the United States. With the UK's help. Now, France is be. Also, also off screen. France, you know, they ended up communist, right? Then they had a coup and became socialists. And then they had another coup by the Jacobins. And now they're conservative. So France has been beaten so hard. They've had three coups. I mean, that's, you know, they've had three revolutions. So that's very French to, be, to do, but still, not too bad. My apologies about that. Uh, but my cat wanted to leave the room. Uh, no, America. Sorry, America. Not this time. Not this. I mean, my, yeah, my cat wanted to leave the room. So sometimes you hear like me moving in the background in videos and stuff. So that's just me moving to make sure that the cat does not want to just let him out of the room. Cool. But the Philippines is gone. Cool. Awesome. 
Oh, we love the Philippines. I hear it's very hot down there, though. Very, very hot. And except we might go to war with China and, and pre prepare ourselves for a war with the, uh, maybe Americans or whoever we might go to war with. But, Asian Farms and Mines, um, I already did this one for actually Vietnam, but if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. And, go. Cool. And actually, the year has, is after 1900. So, nice. Cool. And apparently, we have 56% plurality. Well, my friends, it is time for us to now go to war, of course, with the good old Chinese, even though, well, I guess we don't have enough diplo points. That sucks. Also, I think I already said this, I can't remember, but the Soviet Union is here. The Russian Empire died. Well, I guess last year. We're still the first, or at least for now, the number one military power in the world, but... Oh, iron, cool. Uh, but yeah, they are uh, social democratic, communist, in America. That's basically the same thing, as you know, all know. Or at least you should know. But regards to making a much bigger army, you know what? Because we beat the, the French so hard, we might be able to ally them eventually. They're still ninth in the world, so that's actually not too bad. Um, I don't mind forming an alliance with them because, frankly, we're going to need as many allies as possible with, to fight off the Germans. Like, Germany, the UK can be a big old pain in the butt, but really, as long as you have a big enough navy, they're not too bad. But really, just it's the Germans that you that you have to gangbang. I mean, there's there's no easy way to put it. Like Germany is way too strong, way too strong. So, yeah, I'm I'm a little worried about them, but we'll see what happens. But let's go beat up some Chinese people, even though they are the sixth largest power in the world in terms of military. No, we can't do that yet. We are allowed. Oh, oh, we need more diplo points. Oh, we gotta wait some more. Okay. Well, maybe I should stop spending so many diplo points then. Or wait. Uh, sure, I don't really care. Dunkirk has rebels? Okay, well, that's news to me. We're still making a good amount of money. And we're still spending, I would say, quite a bit on social programs. And this time, uh, because silk is worth more than tea, we have coffee over here, which I love coffee. I got a cup of coffee right here with me, right now, at the time of recording. Tea is great. And even though silk is going down in price, silk is still is better for now. And this place, even though it has slightly less population for North Zhejiang compared to South Zhejiang, I'm going to go and grab North Zhejiang just because I want more silk. So, North Zhejiang. And there's more tiles too anyway, so. If we win, we get 2 prestige. If we lose, we lose 50 prestige. That's not very good. But maybe that's just me. Cool, you guys head on down here. I'm not going to move that army just yet. I wonder if we could actually attack and be successful here. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Also, like, as I, as I said, social spending is not too bad right now. So, can we win on the attack? And we're also doing military directionism, so we can uh, gas some people. Ireland's in the UK sphere. What else is new? And, oh. Wait, why did you guys leave that point, guys? There you go. Ah, we got him. So, I think as long as we just butcher a bunch of the enemies here, I think we'll do okay. So, uh, no, you said you guys said last, no, it's last time, so I'm just gonna, you know, do what you guys told me. And say no to you as well. Good. Alright, so you guys go and move on out. That's fine. And we've just killed off another 22,000. Oh, uh, we already have technically enough war score, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's conquer a few more places and they'll be good to go. Looking a little tired. That's alright, though. Just, it's so good to take them out before they can uh, westernize. But even when they westernize, they're not going to be that strong either. Because they need to spend time to get more techs. Let's see, anything here? No, that sucks. Alright, you guys move over here if you can. You find them. We just killed off 9,000 people in a day. In a single day, we just killed off 9,000 Chinese people. God, that sounds terrible, but you know what? I'm sure China could do more than that. Uh, you guys hit up there. Why not? Another 14,000 just died. China. China. Dudes. Dudes. There you go. Nice, we won. As expected. We need another army around here, which actually we're building up more stuff. Ooh, naval base, that's not too bad. You guys did a very good job. You guys did a very good job. You guys go up there. You guys, I guess, just stay there. And look at that. This part of China is ours now. Nice. Get some railroads, get some forts, because I love building forts. And that's very nice, in which we will figure out who we're going to go to war with next. Well, everyone, this is a probably a terrible idea. But we have a justification to go to war with the United States. And actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the culture map mode. They're very, very Yankee, except for Tucson, Arizona, and San Diego. And, of course, Texas is Texas. And, you know what? It was kind of interesting. Actually, Ohio's kind of Dixie as well, which is actually really cool. Louisiana is just not Dixie at all, apparently. A lot of a lot of the South is not Dixie. At least, you know, there's a lot of Yankees around here. And Afro-American, Afro which makes total sense. But, like, this is very weird. This is very, very weird, weird USA. All of Florida is... Jesus Christ, what happened in this timeline? But anyways, the thing I want to say about America, we're going to go to war with them anyways, but 
I think, doesn't the USA get Afro-American as an accepted culture after the American Civil War? So they get Yankee, Texan, and Dixie, but no African-Americans. So... Um... And they don't even have Native American either, which is very weird, but maybe that's just vanilla. But anyways, this is a bad idea. This is a really, really, really bad idea. And we don't have a good enough Navy for this, but... You know what? You guys recommended at the beginning of the campaign. We gotta get New Amsterdam back, so... And you know what? Most of our allies will agree to this, except for the Turkish Social Republic and Italy. Go figure. So, but we will get... Let's see, we'll get Spain, Norway, Sweden, Portugal, Switzerland of all places, Bulgaria, Egypt, Argentina, Colombia, the UK, which is going to be important, Japan, and Austria-Hungary, in which we're all going to try to beat up America. God, look at... Oh, Canada. Oh, this is disgusting. Why? Canada, you got to assimilate people. A French-Canadian and then Anglo-Canadian, that's fine, but then you got Cree, Native American, minor, Canada. Guys, guys, you got you got to work on that, man. Oh, this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad... Oh, and our allies are coming in. Italy. Wait. Oh, God. UK, did you not join in? Oh, boy. That's not good. Well, I guess we lost the UK. Um, fighting America is not going to be easy doing it like this. Um, they're fighting Austro-Hungarians as well as... Oh, no, the Turks did come in. No, the, that's the Egyptians. The Japanese, which is very, very weird. But hopefully, America comes in with a lot of their ships, maybe? I don't know. This is the best Navy that we have currently. Um... This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, and we have French Patriots. Crud. Uh, we'll, we'll do fine without, you know, with what's happening over there. Hopefully, we find some American ships. Uh, can we call you in? I'm gonna call you in immediately, man. They will accept. Come on. Nice. Okay, they, they, they did join in. That's good. Nice. Okay, so, I'm glad we don't do this by ourselves. I wanna find where the American ships are, because I've been trying to improve our naval doctrine, or at least our naval organization, by taking naval professionalism, as well as naval decision-making. This is probably a really bad idea. I wanna kind of explore and see where the American ships are at, because before we sent any of our guys over, because it's probably not gonna go very well. Cheers? Nice. Oh, we can send some guys down to Puerto Rico. I guess technically we can go to war with these guys as well. Switzerland, yes, but only if you join the war, Switzerland. Why are we ally with those guys? Where is Switzerland, besides Europe? We should be able to beat those guys up. We have to fight Mexico as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, come on in. They broke our alliance to not join us in the war, but then they joined us in the war, so... Kind of doesn't make sense, but okay. Uh, let's head on back. Actually, screw it. Let's just take one army from here. Take, the, take an army that has a lot of French people in it. Uh, Antwerp, Ghent, no. You guys, along Brussels, no. Um, no, no. Maybe we don't have a big old French army here. Huh. That kind of sucks. It's alright, though. Alright. Oh, they're, they're attacking the Philippines as well. Oh, this is a lot of people gotta get rid of. Yeah, that really sucks. That's all right. That's fine, though. Um. How's the country, huh? Alright. Well, let's see what we can do. I wonder if we attack. I don't think it's going to go very well for us, but we could try it. We do have gas attack, though. Italy, you you want to join the war, too? Oh, yeah. Also, the Soviet Union is gone now. Um, as you can see, Russia's come out now. So, it is what it is. Italy. Well, they don't ally me, you pieces of garbage. We're doing very well with American garrison in the Philippines. Ah, <sighs> Very good. Very good. Love it. What was this? Go to, that's fine. Um, Liberia? Mm, no, we're kind of okay. What's going on over here? The Mexicans have arrived. Ooh, yeah, let's not do that. I want to hang on to El Salvador at least a little bit. Let them, because then they'll have to come through here. We'll funnel them into El Salvador. We should do relatively okay on defense, right? Nice. Uh, nice. Very good. So let's go. Oh, Puerto Rico is having some issues. They want to see, you know, seize us down, but they can't really do too much about that. Canada's not in the war as well because they just haven't been called in, which is fine. Where are our shippies? Shippies. Oh, you're over here. Okay. Um, Dunkirk. Why not? This is probably a really bad idea. Let's give it another month until the end there, and then we'll probably come down here or something. Oh, no, we're good. All right, let's send these guys over here, maybe. As long as they don't die on the way over there, that'd be okay with me. Good luck. We're gonna need it. Yeah. Oh, you guys killing each other too? 
Oh! Huh. You're allied with American, Colombia's allied with us, so that's not too bad. Cool, of course not. In Picardy? No, no, no. How's the war going on for right now? Let's see. Dutch conquest, 9%. I want New York. We definitely need to get that one. Nope. Oh, man. I just... That's a... Oh! Wow! A hundred Mexicans coming in. Are we gassing? We are gassing them. They got a really good dodge roll. That's why we're going to lose here. Oh, that sucks. We have two armies here? Can... Oh! Okay, we got gas defense too, apparently. Oh, that sucks. We're going to lose this battle. That really sucks. How are they doing so well? I mean, yeah, they got a lot of guys, but still. Oh! We reinforced them. Nice. Oh, we lost that battle. So be it. Wherever that was. Trans by call, huh? Oh, France declared war in Italy, huh? Well then. Well, I mean, Italy. You know, I, I wanted you to come in here with us, but you didn't want to, so. Baratia gets all cores. Hold on. Oh, we're gonna lose this battle. That sucks. We'll kill off so many Mexicans, though. Oh, my goodness. That really sucks. The third way. Well, Denmark has founded fascism. Well, yep, that sucks. We lost 32,000 in exchange for 100,000 Mexicans. Yep, so be it. Uh, do we have any Americans here, maybe? Anything else going on here? Not really. We just kind of hang out over here. Um, oh, some uh, American ships are down there, too. Look at that. No commander? Well, that's good. Percy Smith? Oh. If you guys could just kind of hang out for now, that'd be good. Just go and combine you guys up. That's fine. Uh, we should have enough ships for 60, so... I think... Refit these guys out with a few more guys for now. 11,000 is not bad. Just dig in, guys. That's why I went to try to get infiltration. Let's take a look. France is mobilizing. A new political party. Verbond. Von Actualisten. Very cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we lost? They sent in a massive army here. Well, that doesn't really matter, at least, so. Um, yep. Yeah, it's definitely going. Definitely going. So, we have our boats over here, too. Which is kind of nice, actually. Uh-oh. America has shown up. That is not good. Please don't attack us. We have very low morale. Oh, well, that would help if we spend a little bit more on our money. That would probably help a little bit. There you go. Slightly higher tariffs. Oh, crap. That is not good. Well, that army's dead. My bad. That's completely my fault. Well, we lost that many. That's my bad. Peru? No, we good. We good for now. Alright, so we lost a little bit more, but... They should lose in the end, right? They should lose in the end, right? Alright, oh, so we grab another army then. My bad. I've got to keep some guys here too, just because... Well, you never have, know if we're going to have rebels. Uh, two more artillery. Artillery, artillery, Dutch. Dutch. Good. And they annex to a uh, Moltu. Alright then. And we can do Sweden. Thank you very much, Sweden. Nope. You know what? Combine both groups here. We're going to head on. Where did the ships go? Oh, navies? Oh, you're over there still. So. Okay, that's fine. Oh, where do we just land over here somewhere, maybe? Okay, stop asking me for this stuff, guys. I wonder if we can really take out New York that fast. Oh, look at that. They're actually doing relatively okay. Huh. 60,000 stack, that's fine. Um, uh, sure, we do want to ally you guys. So that won't be too bad. You guys are going to continue doing that. Nope. Let's have go on. Put some guys on a boat. And let's head on down once we repair our ships a little bit more. And, Friedrich List, very cool. Come on down in here. I always say this name wrong. Surasau? Is that, is that, is that it? Liberia? No, no guys, no. Oh, oh, we're with War Denmark, too. Nope. Oh, Denmark is getting taken out. That's nice. Anything else? Oh, the UK is... Oh, everyone's mobilizing. Italy. Oh! Oh, the French have struck back. They've definitely struck back. Wow. Italian Lower Congo. That is disgusting. It's fine, whatever. Uh, Liberia? Nope. All right, we have 0.49% fascist support. Navy's got more organization. Um, I only will do this if you come into the war. And which they will, so that's good. Oh, Battle of Lesser Antilles. That's good. Let's go and repair for a little bit first. Happy 1905, everyone. We're going to get some repairs done first. And then we'll send that army out and just kill off hopefully a lot of enemies. 
Uh, give it one more month. Give it one more month. Infiltration would be nice. Good. And... Send these guys over to here. Phillipsburgs. Nice. Can you move up there, actually? Let's see. Good. Now go up there and kill them all off. Oh, we had rebels in Amsterdam. That's not good. Yeah, I don't really care about the Philippines right now, as you can tell. Are they down here yet? No, they're not, which is good. Anything over here in Asia? Nope. Infiltration's almost done. How's this looking? Oh, American ships. Hopefully they got blown up. Ah, good. Denmark? Nope. Um, industry. Let's keep going with something like this. Army NCO training. We need that. And bold action rifles will be very good as well. The UK is ready to go and do stuff, which is nice. Do we get over there yet? Nope. It, it is here. In Puerto Rico. Very nice. A war to end all wars. Very cool. Nice. Um, head on over here then. First, guys. Sent, uh, are we fighting these guys? Yes. Dominican Republic must die. Nope. Just help. Oh, I think. Uh, actually, those guys will probably have it under wraps. They'll probably do okay without us. Yeah, they'll do fine. Ships. Where are we going to go to next? Peru is basically going to die here. What if we were to risk it and go all the way up to here to New York? How good are you in defense? You're actually plus three in defense. Oh, hello. Ooh. That's probably a really bad idea. Is there anywhere we can go that we won't get attacked? Can we go another Florida, maybe? Hmm. Why can't I move? No, no, no. You guys stay. You guys stay. Florida? I got a lot of guys all over the place, though. I'll be honest. But can we go to Tampa? Maybe we can. That'd be kind of cool. Take out Tampa. I kind of doubt we'd be able to get enough... Sh oh! Mexico. Is that 45 ships? Whoa! That's a lot of ships. We lost quite a few eventually, too, which is not good, but... Wow. Not, not bad. Poland, sure. Oh, God, America came in. Oh, God. Well, we got Florida, which is nice. Uh, we got to go here and take some more soldiers. Actually, if we come over here, we could probably get some more soldiers from this place, too, maybe? These are just god-awful ships. Throw them on the boat, so they die over there. Whatever. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, we're killing thousands of them. Do they have gas? They don't have gas emissions. Oh, we don't have a commander. How do we not have a commander? Did our guy die? He might have... Minus... Oh, my gosh. Nope. 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 Oh, so many Americans are dying. Oh, my gosh. We killed 150,000 Americans while losing 2,300 with no commander. No commander. I just want New York. I just want New York, man. I just want New York. Okay, so you're in here. Plus one defense. Uh, we need someone with extremely good defense. Uh, let's see. Hutman? No. No. Plus one. Um, plus three morale. No, no. Does no one have good defense here, man? We got a lot of generals, though. Mm, plus one. Any more defense? Morale's really good for some of these guys. Holy crap. That one guy had, like, plus 50%. Yeah, morale, not, yeah, not really, no. Um, who we have currently is probably the best that we can do. That was insane. Can we move up and do well? You know, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wait. I wanna wait until we have actual guys here to help us out, so. I think that would be to best just to wait. Russia, you are pan-Slavic reactionaries. And apparently France turned socialist. Which didn't work out well for them for them last time. Dominican... Nope, 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 nope. We'll end the war once this is all done and over. Actually, oh, where are we with this? 2%. We definitely need New York, but if we keep throwing more soldiers at us, we'll actually do actually relatively okay. Um, boats, you're heading over there. We got another 60,000 stacks, so might as well send them over. And these are all Africans, so we love Africans. You guys should be able to move actually pretty... Uh, let's send you guys up here too then. That's fine. I don't want to move that army yet just because... Yeah, they need to be best to wait. Come on, get over there in the Suez. Oh! Oh, we've got more attack and defense. Look at that. Low echelon fire support. Great. They're attacking us again. And we're deploying way more soldiers. 
All right, how, how's it looking? We're going to crack down? Sure, that's fine. Um, Nathaniel Baxter, minus three. I'm glad we didn't move. That's good, actually. Oh, they're throwing in more guys, too. Denounce the league. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's a case. That's, this group wasn't very good to begin with, but that's all right. Um, how are we doing over here? We need, ooh, like five things of infantry. All right, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Oh, God. I want to keep an eye on this battle, though. Ooh, anything here interesting? No, that's fine. You guys should easily be able to win. Only minus one or two entrenchment. Oh, they keep throwing in more guys. That's not good. They have no horses, which is nice, but it looks like they might have some recon. Never mind. Oh, my God. They keep throwing more... Oh, we keep throwing more guys in, too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Please throw an ally with America and just kick a lot of people out of here. Are you turn to go over there? We have three armies here. Oh, my goodness. Just in case, I don't mind throwing... I don't want to throw too many guys over there. I don't mind throwing these guys over there, then, if we have to. And the battle's over. We've only killed 231,000! Holy crap, we lost 3,000. That oh my goodness gracious. That was all literally to acquire New York. Oh, this is so ugly. <laughs> we got it, my friend. We got New Amsterdam. Oh, please tell me there's an event. Please tell me there's an event where we can uh, uh, get... Re re rename this New Amsterdam. I don't think there is. Oh, that sucks so much. But we actually got it. And this place probably has quite a few factories in it already. New York. Where's New York? Oh, no, let's organize this by name. Dutch, Dongola. Let's see. New York? No, they don't. That's going to disappoint. Wow, that's a lot of craftsmen. Wow, I can't believe we did it. Thank goodness. We All all we had to do was come to Florida and go to the marsh, which doesn't give us any more defense on, on there. But hey, that was great. And here we are, my friends. The Suez Canal has been finished on the year of 1906. The construction of the Suez Canal is finally finished. Numerous technical, political, and financial problems have been overcome, and the final cost was more than double the original estimate. Many have died in accidents, but the canal is now finally ready for use. The opening will be performed by the Khedive Ismail of Egypt and Sudan, and at Ismail's invitation, our ship will be the first to cross the canal. The opening ceremony will be held in a few days, as soon as the preparations are finished. Glory for the Netherlands! Very nice. Very, very cool. And there we go. We got a boat where we can put boats through the canal. Even though there are a ton of socialists here, but at least we now have precious goods in the Suez Canal. So, right now, we are going to go to war with actually the Ratanat Ratanakosin Kingdom, as long as no one else comes in to fight us. And we're going to take Isan just because, well, we can. And Isan would actually make us look have slightly better borders maybe I don't know at least my opinion that might look slightly better it might actually look slightly worse hopefully no one joins us in the war please don't and okay good let's take him out shall we just because we can and as long as no one else joins in the war we're kind of okay with it in the meantime though um I'm kind of figuring we might want to go to war with oh look Sweden became a great power France fell out of great power status nice we might go to war with France again just because we can just to beat him up we can maybe take more of maybe take Normandy how about that Normandy is rightful Dutch uh, property, so we're just doing what we think is best. Probably. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Of course, we got to deal with rebels, and at this point, I'm just sort of trying to get more score. Trying to build up our military even more to prepare ourselves for, like, the fight against Germany, the fight against the United Kingdom. Just pretty much a lot of fighting. A lot, a lot, a lot of fighting. And maybe more with China, because we love China. Everyone loves China. Nice. And BOMO, there you go. Oh. Temperance and labor. I don't really care too much. Oh. Nice. See? That's not terrible. If we took... We could have taken this Patani, which would have been looked okay. But... Uh, it's just better to take this area up here. Let's go put our soldiers back. And... That's not too bad. Dutch Asia is always getting larger. Well, let's go ahead and go to war with China, even though now we're socialists. Go figure. We have pacifism, which is really bad for us. We have a full welfare state, but we do get full citizenship, which I do kind of like, and state capitalism, so things could be a lot worse. And apparently Scandinavia formed, so not too bad. And that definitely will help keep France from becoming a global power, a world power. We're actually allied with them, which is great, great, great. I want to continue building a relationship with the Scandinavians. It'll be good to use against the Germans, who are allied with the Italians. 
These guys are allied with the Americans, so that's not bad. Not great, though. I really want to fight the Americans again. I want to beat up the Germans. I really want to beat them up. They're second world power. We're actually eighth now because we became socialists. And I've been messing around with things. And Bratia is here, too. So, and they're allied with the Germans. Go figure. But let's go figure out what we're going to do with China. To make a concession, we'll just do the south one. North Hunan is, like, right here. So, that would even be, we wouldn't even be able to touch them. So, that would obviously not be very good. Uh, let's see. That's not a lot of guys. You guys go over there, maybe. You guys go up to Chongqing. And you guys go right there. And you all... You probably want to do that. Cool. And let's... Oh. Oh. And we have guys over here, too. So, yeah. You might want to just dig in, guys. You might literally just want to dig in. Uh, cool. 12,000 are gone. Very nice. Go ahead and uh, have a good time right there if you can. 12,000 plus 10,000 plus 15,000. 18,000. Not bad. Not bad. I do say so much off. Another 20,000-ish are gone. And an additional number of uh, soldiers. 23,500. Not bad. That's a very fast war we just did. Nice. Cool. All right. So let's see. Over here. Ooh, let's see. We need uh, two thingy mobs. Okay. All right, that's good. That's that's pretty darn nice. That was one of the fastest war I think we've ever done with China, but that's not too bad. Well, my friends, we had to do it. We had to go to war with the Congo because, well, apparently we can get Katanga, but, uh, yeah, not Kivu, I guess, which is where the capital's at, but that's okay. Right now, I need to uh, catch you guys up to, to speed on what's going on here. So, apparently, Italy went to war with France, and Italy was allied with Germany, and they smashed through France because Italy wanted Savoy, which, and then, but though, the Germans, no, the, the Americans were allied to the French, so they're fighting a whole lot of people right now, which is okay with us, and they were fighting for Ireland as well, and they're fighting America, but at this point, I'm preparing for the war against Germany, it's going to be god-awful, I mean, we're allied with the Scandinavia, Russia, Austria, Hungary, and maybe even the UK as well, yes, we are, so it's one, two, three, four against these guys, one, two, three, four, five nations, um, we'll see what happens, uh, it's not going to be good, probably, but, no, these guys aren't doing very well either. Oh well, but whatever. Um, yeah, the Congo. And we'll, we'll have to get out of our socialist party. we got to go with a uh, group that believes in jingoism because other than that, there's no way we're going to be able to beat Germany. We'll probably have to mobilize too, so. It sucks. It's going to suck a whole lot. This war against the Germans is just going to be god-awful. Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, America, why are you fighting? Uh, why are you guys fighting the UK? Oh, that's not good. We're making a lot of money, though. That's pretty nice. Even with full... Well, I guess it's not full, but... A certain level of employment here. Oh, look at that. Katanga? This is going to look really ugly, guys. I'm sorry. This is really ugly. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, but... It, all the way down here... Doesn't make any sense. That's alright. You know, sometimes I guess things... Okay. A Luba Guard? Sure. Sure, why not? Why not? You know? Why not? Like the Pokemon. These guys are all going to die here. Ooh. Athrush? Ah, oh, I hate having... Yeah, people rise up against us. That's right, we're going to put them down, and uh, I'm not looking forward to this war against Germany. But we'll probably, uh, let's see, actually, oh, why do you have to kill each other off? Um, now, the Germans wanted to dismantle constructions in Washington and force the U.S. to dismantle the Empire. I want to do that against Germany. You know, I don't know how they're going to do that. I want to use that against these guys, but I do also want the Rhineland. So I'll see you in about two years. All right, everyone, so I know we ended off at war with Germany, but let's just say at the end of that war, we didn't do so great, so I'm going to end the episode here, and in the beginning of the next episode, we'll be at war with the Germans, hopefully winning, we'll see what happens, no guarantees, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow with who knows what's going to happen between us and the Germans. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.